it's Michelle and you may have seen my recent video where I made hickory chickens or morel mushrooms sauteed with fresh asparagus. In that video I told you guys if I got a large batch of hickory chickens I would show you guys how to dehydrate them. Now this is not a huge batch but we were lucky enough to find a second batch and I thought I'd go ahead and do that video for you guys and show you how to dehydrate them. If you have a food dehydrator, you can use that, but I don't have one anymore, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to do it in your oven. So I've already cleaned the mushrooms and soaked them in salt water to kill any bacteria or bugs that may be in there. Again, this was a very clean batch, so I looked up there. But if you guys don't know the cleaning process, you can go back and watch that video. But I'll just go ahead and tell you all I really did was do one clean wash in plain water and dump that water back out into the wooded areas so they can grow again if there are any spores in there. And then I followed up with a salt water soak to kill anything that might be in them. After the salt water soak, I gave them a couple more clean rinses and spun them out in my salad spinner here. And now we're ready to put them on the pan to go into the oven. I've got my baking pan here, just a cookie sheet covered with aluminum foil to make for easy cleanup. And I've got a rack on top of that to lift them up so the air can circulate and they'll dry evenly. So I'm going to go ahead and get these cut up. Again, I'm going to cut the very bottom off of the stem so we've got a new clean edge. And cut them up the middle because hickory chickens are hollow inside and you always want to check inside there to make sure that everything is clean. If you see any discolored areas like that little spot there, I've got a little spot here. You want to cut those out and get rid of those. So I'm going to go ahead and get them all cut up and onto my pan. So I've got a pan full here. I do have a few left, but I think I'm going to save these and fry them up with supper today. And we're going to dry these out in the oven. And I've just cut them all in half. They were pretty close in size. You just want to make sure that your sizes are similar so that they have an even drying time and you don't end up with some drier than others. And the recommended cooking temperature for these to dehydrate them in your oven is 150. My oven only goes down to 170, but I thought maybe I could set it at 170 and crack the door open a little bit and we could be able to achieve it that way. If your oven goes down to 150, go ahead and set it at that or use your food dehydrator. So I'm going to go ahead and pop these into the oven for about an hour. At that point, I'll flip them over and see how they're doing and I'll check back in with you guys then. Okay, so our hickory chickens have been in the oven for one hour, and you can see them starting to crisp up a little bit already. And you guys, I don't know what I was thinking putting these in cut side up on the first go around with that delicate little porous outer layer against the rack. By all means, these should have gone in for the first hour cut side down. So on the written instructions, I'm just going to go ahead and say cut side down on the first go around. And then just give everything a flip. Now back into the oven for another hour and I'll check in with you guys again at that point and we'll see if that's going to be dry enough for us or if we might need a little extra time in the oven. But I think that two hours total is going to do it for these. These are kind of on the small to medium side but they're going back into the oven for another hour and I'll check in with you guys then. Okay so our second hour has passed and that's two hours total in the oven 
for our mushrooms and you can see they have shrunk a lot and I do think these are completely free of moisture now I don't think they need any more time in the oven we don't want them to burn we don't want them a complete crisp but we do want them to feel that the moisture is gone and they are much darker that's just where they have dried they'll have that dark color sometimes even when you find them in the woods when they're about to dry up if there hasn't been a lot of rain during that time so that color is perfectly fine and I think these would be great to reconstitute into soups or stews or something like that and I'm going to leave these on the counter to finish completely cooling down to room temperature on the rack so that they still have air circulation we don't want to pull them out of there hot after we've done the drying process and then allow them to steam so we're going to make sure they finish cooling completely on the rack and then we can put them into a zip top bag once I put those into the zip top bag I'm going to go ahead and throw them into the freezer and they'll keep much longer that way and you guys dehydrating them will really really concentrate the flavor and hickory chickens are a super flavorful delicious mushroom to begin with and I can't wait to throw these into some soups later on so if you guys like this video give me a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to my youtube channel and click the bell so that you'll get notifications when I upload new videos give me a like over on my facebook page and be sure to join our facebook group healthy minds and bodies also follow me on pinterest and instagram and don't forget to visit my blog i'll have the links to everything in the description below so be sure and check them out thanks for watching i'll see you next time